Welcome to Hydroponics on Bonaire. My name is Roald Bohm. I'm the creator of Bonavista Island Resort and the first permaculture garden on Bonaire. I love growing hydroponically as well. There's many ways of growing hydroponic and I tried to do that. You know, there's all the ways to do these vegetables. I prefer the methods that are easy, simple and effective. So I found a system that needs no pumps and no um, aeration. And I love that because this system is just a, a box with a bunch of holes and net cups in them, as you can see. I start the vegetables off in these little... Um, this one case, which is basically a baby starter, it's like a starter kit, that uses the space more efficiently and then the moment they're about oh, two weeks old, I put them in these other cases that have more space for them to grow out to become really big and adults, right? So this system is really, really simple. Um, sometimes I start them off smaller than that and I did a few tests uh, a long time ago and this is some, some video shooting of that where you can see how the system um, evol evolves as it gets along. This is just a bunch of different boxes, each of them filled with solution of water and um, the nutrients. It's got a line here and there to keep the water in and the boxes from rotting. And just a top on, on it, a lid with the holes in it that fit these net cups. And inside the net cups is just some sort of star substrate. You don't need anything special, but the substrate just is there to hold the roots together. And then the vegetable grows in that and has its roots hanging down into the solution. As the plant grows, it starts absorbing the solution with the nutrients in it and the water and the water line starts dropping down giving a, a little pocket of air between the top which is the lid and the solution in the box and therefore you have the oxygen from the roots that the plants need that can get absorbed from that area like a moist area of air and the nutrients start dropping down the beautiful thing about this system is that as you grow these vegetables, you don't have to attend to them. Basically what I do is I fill the box up with nutrient solution, I plant the babies in there when they're about two weeks old and I walk away. I can go on a holiday. It's a beautiful system, a very simple system. No pumps to take care of, no worries about electricity for your air pump or your, your, your water pump that's, that's making you know, the, the solution uh, go around. You don't have that. It's just a, a non-circulating system with um, which you can walk away. It's basically a, a plug and play type of thing. And I love plug and play because a lot of people don't have the time these days. I spend about 30 minutes max on each box a week. What I try to do is plant one box every week so that I have vegetables on an ongoing cycle. And I, it costs me about $3 a week and 30 minutes to, to clean and replant each box. And that gives me the vegetables for my family of four that I need uh, for all week. So that's 30 minutes and, and three dollars a week. That's all it costs me. That is excluding the box, which is a one-time investment, and excluding the greenhouse, which we need in the case of where I live, because we have heavy, heavy sun, and we have got quite a bit of wind. So this is one big greenhouse that I grow my stuff in, and you can see how succulent these plants are. They're just beautifully juicy, and you just want to eat them when they're even small, before they're adults. But of course, you got to have the patience to try to wait until they're old enough. And if you have enough of them, you're not worried. You just keep eating these things and you don't pick them too early. Here you can see some more pictures of the different varieties. I tried a lot of different varieties and most of them do really excellent. And in the test that you just saw, I, I did so many different types just to see which worked. But, you know, really all of them kind of worked pretty well. So I still have a lot of them, but I grow more the types that I particularly am fond of myself in the salad. You know, the texture, especially of some of the romaine lettuces, are nice and crunchy. They're full of nutrients because the nutrient solution is a beautiful balanced um, system, which has been worked out for, you know, not hundreds of years, but at least, I think, 30 or 40 years they've been working with these hydroponic systems, and they've really worked it out to, to a really good science. So uh, I would suggest really do some of this. You do need, like I said, a greenhouse. Um, I have a greenhouse in my case because we are in hot weather that I just use the, um, the netting, the shade cloth. But for some other people in other countries, you might need a plastic to keep some of the heat in. It's basically for your climate control and in our case, especially for protection because we got iguanas and lizards and things that really would love to eat all of this stuff. So you got to protect it in some way. And this module I made here was just to demonstrate how you could put one of these things anywhere you wish, even on an island like where we live. So I hope you enjoyed that. It's easy and it's fast. It's simple and it's not expensive at all. I was surprised at how little it cost. It cost me to grow my vegetables about 10 cents per head. That is 10 cents per lettuce. So I hope you enjoy that. 
This is Hydroponics on Bonaire. My name is Roald Bohm, and uh, I'll be showing you more of this stuff. So if you subscribe to my channel, I'll uh, get more videos out.